Welcome to my channel, Woke Words. Today, I'm going to be doing a reading for the sign of Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. And I've already shuffled the cards and cut the deck to save time on the video. So, this is the overall energy. Here's the past, present, and upcoming energies. So, the overall energy for the reading is the wheel of fortune so changes coming in and I noticed something else that the number five is the number of change and you have five in the top row twice and five again in the second row so that's three fives in the reading so for the past energy you have the hair font the nine of wands and the five of swords so it looks like you were in some kind of commitment. It could have been a marriage and there was a lot of guarded energy between you and this person and a lot of fighting, arguing, trying to one up each other, like some really nasty energy going on between you and this person. In the current energy, you have the three of swords, the five of wands, and the ten of swords. So this is an ending that has a lot of pain in it. And on top of that, right sandwiched in the middle is the Five of Wands. So it's like a lot of pettiness between two people is what the reading is showing. A lot of trying to be spiteful, petty, childish, like really bad energy. So I think that's probably what drove you to this energy. That's the upcoming energy, which is the Hermit, the Knight of Swords, and the Page of Wands to go within. It's like, fuck this because the first two rows are just like bad arguing fighting bickering even getting childish with it not i'm not saying one person or the other i'm not saying both i don't know i'm just saying the reading is just showing that so going within not just giving up the fight with that ten of swords you're like fuck this and here comes this person may not be nice communication but this person's like coming back for more with the knight of swords they want to come and talk they're probably not even going to be nice about it if they aren't it may not be that they're not being nice they just may be kind of blunt about what they say even if they're trying to talk to you about fixing something they're going to be like suddenly bam can't take it anymore you're not showing me any attention and after you go within, it looks like this Page of Wands energy is what you're going to get, which is really awesome. That's like your um, card of, like, umph, like a kid trying new things. So that's pretty good. So let's clarify the Wheel of Fortune, which is change. <laughs> so there's positive changes coming. If this is what's been going on in your life in the reading, the Wheel of Fortune being overall, it's like you're getting through this and there's a lot of change coming in your life. The Wheel of Fortune, you get the King of Wands, the Ten of Pentacles, the King of Pentacles. So this could be both you and your person, both in your masculine energy. And this person could have been focused more on money than love. There's no cups in the whole entire reading yet that I see anyway. And so this person was probably, I would say, like the King of Pentacles is their masculine side. With the Ten of Pentacles situation, another card that says this is probably like a marriage or a long-term commitment. And you with the will of fortune the change that's coming in is you're starting to go after what feels right to you not just because it's stable in the world not just because society says it's what you should do because it's you're supposed to get married when you're so and so age or, or live with this person because of kids or stability or whatever it's like you're going after what what lights you up more than what's stable and we all have to do things to be stable but i'm saying in general and both of you are in masculine energy in the, in those cards. So let's clarify 
the nine of wands in the past energies so that's just showing that a lot of fighting had probably been going on so that's what made you guarded maybe clarify the nine of wands wheel of fortune again king of cups nine of swords So, when this person in the past tried to come at you in a loving way with the King of Cups in their masculine energy, so that's them coming at you, or that could be you going towards them, the change was you were guarded with the Wheel of Fortune. The change is you were guarded against them. You're tired of fighting. And this got them really in their head with the Nine of Swords. They are very miserable. And it caused them to retaliate with the Five of Swords, is what I think, anyway. Let's clarify the Three of Swords in the current energy. Queen of Swords. Ten of Swords. Seven of Wands. So, yes, this Three of Swords is the pain. But the good thing is, with your feminine energy being in the Queen of Swords energy, at least you're clear-headed about the decisions you're making. And you see that the toxicity, even though the devil's not here, but I'm just saying the fighting, the fussing, it needs to go away. And you want an ending. And you're like standing firm in that ending. And it's causing this person, and maybe you too, because you may love this person, but you just realize that you two are not on the same wavelength. But you are standing firm in your decision to end this. And it's causing this person, a three of swords energy, a lot of heartbreak. But you feel like it's best. It's the way I see it. Let's clarify the Five of Wands in the current cards. Five of Wands. Keep knocking, turning over too many. Five of Wands. Six of Pentacles. The Chariot. Five of Pentacles. So, I see this as you trying to achieve balance in your life by moving forward and leaving this behind. And this person is feeling abandoned because of that, which is causing them to act out in very childish ways. They may have some abandonment issues in their kid, like childhood maybe even. And this could be you or them, I don't know, but somebody does. And so you feel like to get balance in your life, you need to move forward. And this person feels like, well, if you're leaving me, you're abandoning me, I'm going to retaliate to get your attention. So with the Five of Wands, that's what they're doing. They're trying to cope with the feeling abandoned. Let's clarify the Hermit. So I think the Hermit card is you trying to go within. Six of Swords. Temperance. That's beautiful. Nine of Pent. This is beautiful. Okay. Hermit card. Clarified by moving to calmer situation in life in general. Temperance. Because that's achieving balance. And independence. So when you go within, this is what you found when you went within that this is what you needed to do to achieve that balance in your life to be happy so regardless if you love this person or not it doesn't change the fact that the fighting the fussing the conflict whatever it is between you two was bad so here comes this person with the knot of swords energy they're going to come back and try one more time it looks like in the coming energy so just be prepared if you're not thinking they're coming back, they're coming back for one more round. <laughs> Eight of Wands, oh Lord. Four of Cups, the lover. So this person still has, and you probably do too, a strong connection still here. With the Eight of Wands, they ain't gonna be, there's gonna be lots of talking back and forth about trying to fix this this person wants to fix this because they do not want new love with the four of cups they want this right here they want to reconcile this they want to fix it 
the intense connection they feel with you, they're not going down without a fight. They're not going down without a fight. Let's clarify the Page of Wands. Which, this is cool, by the way. The Page of Wands energy down here, remember I said that's like your passionate side? So, up here with the Wheel of Fortune, when I pulled these and I said I think that was your masculine. So, this Page of Wands will turn into a King of Wands energy eventually, whatever you pursue. Which may give you a Ten of Pentacles, even by yourself. Let's clarify the Page of Wands. Three of Cups. Two of Wands. Two of Pentacles. So it's like maybe there's more than one thing. You're not really doing this right now, whatever this Page energy is, which I know is upcoming energy. But Two of Wands, Two of Pentacles. You're kind of waiting, trying to figure out what it is you want to do. Maybe you have a lot going on in your life. And it's basically saying whatever this is, will be something to harvest in the end once you pick a path and walk the path there will be things to harvest in that you'll be successful in whatever you do and then i pulled a card from the queen of the moon oracle deck and i got focus number 14 and i just noticed that that breaks down to a five also indicative of a lot of changes coming up for you like you could have third eye stuff going on with this butterfly and also i noticed i know it says focus but two also like transformation it makes me think of transformation with the butterfly on her forehead so just basically this is looks like to me going within and focusing on you which is like the hermit car too so I think that this reading is kind of heavy, but at the same time, it's going towards more happiness for you in the end. So, Cancer, that's been your reading for the month of November, and um, thank you so much for watching.